Welcome back to the range with Yoke. As you can, you might can't hear right now, but we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at, see there, we are at the gun range. As you can hear beyond the berms, beyond our berm, we hear that beautiful sound ringing early this morning. It's a beautiful 67 degree morning here and um, something caught my attention in our berm <laughs> that I wanted to come check out. Now, what is this for? Is this for people to crawl through? Um, I guess when they're doing the little tactical courses or whatever, but I don't see how anybody's body can fold up to that size to be able to get through this um, tube thing. It is smooth in the inside, but um, I don't see how that'll work. Maybe um, propped up against it or something, something of that sort. <laughs> But anyway, I thought, um, well, if you know what it is, go ahead and drop that in the comments and we can discuss that um, a little bit later. So, with that being said, what brings us to the range this morning? I actually had somebody inquire, ask me my opinion on an AR-15 that shot 7.62 by 39. And of course, the first thing I said was like, why would you get an AR? Why don't you just get an AK? that shot 7.62 by 39, but I don't discriminate anything that anybody has going on with whatever it is that they want. So I said, you know what? Let me know what it is that you're looking at. I'll go get it. You and what? I'll bring it to the channel for you and we'll talk about it then. Hopefully you're watching. <laughs> okay, so what we are talking about today is that Radical Arms. No, God 7.62 by 39. No. No! Very interesting no! looking rifle. The rifle is absolutely beautiful. If you look at that handguard, that handguard is just very, very pretty. The RPR handguard is supposed to control heat and, and all of that good stuff. So we are going to find out today if that is actually, um, if it's true. So what we are working with here is a 16 inch barrel with a 15 inch PRP and the MFT furniture. So your grip and your stock would be MFT. Your handguard would be your RPR style. Now, the unfortunately the manufacturer really doesn't give me um, a lot of information as far as weight and, and all that good stuff for, um, for me to share with you, but um, I wish I did. It's just letting me know, hey, this is a 16 inch barrel. This is what it is. Run it and let me know. So that is what we're here to do. Um, as far as weight goes, it does not feel that heavy. Of course, we are running the Vortex AMG UH-1 on here. So it did kind of change the weight just a little bit. Um, I can feel uh, where that has changed it a bit. Now, I have not shot this. Uh, my husband did shoot this um to get this zeroed for us and um we're gonna see exactly how i feel about it it is an ar hmm, but we'll find out okay as i said earlier and if anybody missed it we are in a safe and controlled environment we are at the gun range we do have a piece of steel out here which we will be torturing with that 762 by 39 and um we will find out exactly how i feel about it so, all that left to do now is what, y'all? Suit him up so you can send him down range. So, today we are going to um, send the Winchester Target Practice 762 by 3923 grain uh, down range. Now, this is that good stuff. Let me show you how pretty these are. It's that good stuff. And we're also shooting bronze ammunition. This is 762 by 3923 grain as well. Now, it does come with one garbage. <laughs> one magazine. Uh, I'm going to assume it could be 10 or it might be 20. I'm not sure. I'm going to load and we're going to count and see how many it is. But I'm not a big fan of metal magazines. And the follower on here does not feel too good. So we are going to find out and see. Yeah, no. You got to be very careful while loading this magazine. Do not drag and slip in your rounds um, as you would do a regular magazine. You want to put it, place it on top of it 
and then jam it in. So you need to keep the front and the back of your round level so that the follower doesn't drop on one side. If you try to feed in this manner, your follower is gonna fall off track and you're gonna be in trouble. Well, Yoke, how do you know that? Because I can feel it. I can feel it and it's not gonna be a good thing. And magazine issues, especially if they just give you one, is a problem. If you know you're giving me a garbage magazine, at least give me two. Let me struggle with two instead of one. All right, so yeah, mm -mm. I think this magazine's gonna be problems. But we are going to keep loading and see how many we get in here. See there? Look at that. Can you see what happened? Yeah, I think you should take one out. No, I'm going to push this back. All right. See there? The round is even weak. I shouldn't say the round is weak. Yeah, I should say the round is weak. The round is not being held. All right, so let's not put any more after this. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. So this must be a 20 rounder. And let's see. Now let's suit them up. Are we zeroed? You finna have me shame out here, is you? We good. <laughs> All right. So we are loaded. I am gonna load my AR. Drop that bolt, drop. The bolt dropped nicely. My red dot is on. Mm. Yep. See that? All right, we had a failure to feed. Look how that round is sitting in there. I'm just going to assist this round. Put the firearm on safe. Take it out. Let's just take that round out. I just heard the spring in the magazine snap. So let's see. Okay, super smoky. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep my opinions for a little bit towards the end of this, but I've already come to the conclusion. It's an AR. Huh? It's an AR. I know, but let's get reloaded. Let me get that round. Now this has to be the most pain in my rear end magazine to load. Pain in your what? Rear end. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. The round has to be in there perfectly. All right, one more. All right, let's just do one more. Okay. AR is safe. Bolt is back. Oh, another thing. Ugh. I went ahead and y'all know I usually don't, but I went ahead and I greased her up very, very good. I had a feeling uh, that it would be problems if I you didn't. Had a feeling that it was garbage. <laughs> it's an AR. So I made made sure if you can see we got oil seeping it from. It was funny, right? Huh? The optic you got on there costs more than the whole. Right. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> ah! All right. Two rounds, 
Done it again. Rifle is safe. Take that out. But look what happens. Look how those rounds are sitting in that magazine. <sighs> See, this is when you just want to just throw the whole thing at the target. One shot. One shot wonder. How do y'all deal with this? Yeah, this, this whole magazine's gonna be a problem. Here. So, any suggestions on what it could be at this point? Let me know, drop it in the comments. Not like it can help me right now, but. Oh, this is a piece of sh. Rifle is safe. Bolt is back. Clear. Let's go to the truck. Um. I don't know. Yeah, this whole, look at that. So, in order for me to get that spring taut, and when I say taut, meaning tight, to actually hold the round in place, I had to take out two, four, six um, rounds out of the magazine. So I currently have four rounds in here, and let's see how this responds. I'm over it, and we just got here. I'm over it. Okay, now the magazine is taut, meaning the spring is tight, but the bolt missed the round. The, the spring is not pushing the rounds up high enough. The rifle is safe. The bolt is open. Bolt just closed. Let's open this back up. Rifle is safe and clear. Uh, I don't know. It pushed it right to the edge, but it didn't. Oh, look what happened. Ah! Oh. Can you see what happened? Look at this projectile height wise versus this one. So what the bolt did, because the magazine, the spring in the magazine is not pushing the round up far enough for the bolt to ride it on the ramp and push it into the chamber. It's actually driving the round into the actual ramp. It's dri not onto the ramp, into the ramp. So the projectile has now been pushed into the casing. So that's no good. It's AR. <laughs> oh my Lord. All right. Well, go ahead, we, just try to run at it, see if it runs. We got three in here. This is not fun. All right, it fed that one. We have three rounds inside. Make hot. Shot three. Now there's no way, firearm is safe, there's no way that I'm gonna have a rifle that I can only shoot three rounds out of it at a time. Absolutely no way. 
Let's put five in it. See if five is, well, with three is the happy medium. Let's see if five will work. So we got five in. Now let's see. <laughs> ah, it ruined another round. All right, I'm done. I'm done because I'm not going to keep wasting my ammo on this piece of trash. Look here. Leave that thing where it's at. Get you an AK that if you really want to run and experience the joys of this beautiful round 762 by 39, get you an AK and have you a blast with it. Um, but as far as this goes, Radical Firearms, uh... 7.62 by 39, 16-inch barrel, 15-inch handguard is a no-go. No bueno. Don't like it. AMG UH1 is an absolute great optic, though, I can say. Yo, gang, listen. Um, It don't work. It don't work, but if you have not yet checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do pick up a t-shirt or a patch, support the channel. And if you would like to join the Yoke Gang train or the Yoke train, join the Yoke Gang All In membership. Hit that join button, join the fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I would love to say I loved it when things work, but this hunk of metal don't work. And y'all already know I love y'all for life. Peace.